So the results of heat three, round two. Russ and Bjorn advance. And we are moving on. And this will be heat four, round two. Federico Mauricio. Charlie Boy, Van Damme, and Brock, and Van Rodinger. And this is what you're going to see here is people fighting for survival in this event. It's a different mentality, and what you do see now is guys will take chances right away to make an impression with the judges. Federico Mauricio highlights this upper wave that's being kind of masked from our view, but he is all the way up top like he seems to be favoring to do. He's staying in his comfort zone, doing what he's been doing. Highlining it through, this one is a grower all the way, coming to the lower section, and now he can set up his bottom turn line as the wave horseshoes in. And he looks nice and powered on his Severn rig here. The wave doesn't really let him do much, or else he decided that was just a little bit more than he was ready for. Mauricio gets out of there. Pat Rodinger is on one of the best waves he's been on in cloud break since he got here, surfing or windsurfing. This thing is an absolute window maker nugget, and he goes to town off the bottom right away. Super aggressive cutback for Rodinger. This is the postcard level wave sailing that we're seeing here. And he punches another bottom turn from the pit under and skies it over, and he is making it perfectly for the aerial of the event. That was that was bigger than Swifties. And he punted that thing perfectly, and that might arguably be a high score. Massive moment for Rodinger. Starting to get real comfortable here in Cloud Break, right when he needed to. This is an elimination heat, people. And what you saw right there is that big names rise to big occasions. And Rodinger's a big name because he won Cabo Verde earlier this year, and he's a multiple Aloha Classic winner as well. Let me tell you, that delivered the goods there. Here comes Mauricio again, highly mobile on his gear, chipping in from way out in the channel. What's going to be left of this wave when he actually decides he can ride it remains to be seen, but he gets under it. And outside of him, you see Charlie Van de Mullerbrook as well. This is a one-two exchange. Mauricio actually doing quite well on his ride. Charlie Boy going for the fade line. Not enough wave to support it. Unfortunately for Charlie Boy, Frederico Mauricio certainly got a second good score there. But the high score of this heat and the person in the driver's seat is the person I call the samurai, Van Rodinger, who just dissected the wave at cloud break exactly like he would have wanted to if he was drawing it up himself. That was an unbelievably aggressive ride from Rodinger, and he delivered it. All right, once again, to review, and thank you for these updates. This is heat four of round two, redemption round. It's Bernd Rodinger, Charlie Boy, Van de Mullebrook, and Federico Mauricio. The next heat, heat five, the first semifinal, is going to be Morgan Waro, Camille Jubon, Russ Faro, and Bjorn Dunkerbeck. Coming up after this heat, we will do the second final, heat six, and that will leave us to our final heat. It is coming down to it. And it is going down, ladies and gentlemen, at the 2022 Fiji Pro Invitational. Once again, many people to thank here. Absolutely overjoyed to be here thanks to Tourism Fiji. Always open for happiness because happiness comes in waves. Thanks again to the Fiji Surf Company, Ian and Kalani Muller, Sanji, Tick, Felix, Sugo, all the drivers, everybody looking out for us, doing a phenomenal job delivering us an opportunity to compete in Cloud Break. And it has happened. Lord, thank you for that. It's not lost on me the significance of this. And, you know, we don't want to incur into all the surf breaks of the world. No. Cloud break just happens to be windy 
sometimes a little bit more than sometimes maybe there's a window of sailing at club break anytime you have southeast trades it's not always windy enough sometimes it's too offshore i would definitely say we're not here to just promote windsurfing on a daily basis at cloud break just because you can but there are windsurf days that are just made for it and this is one of them i'm seeing it if i had a choice to surf or windsurf right now i would be windsurfing just saying not everybody might feel that way but that's my opinion and that's the opinion of the international windsurfing tour body here clearly this place gets really good for wave sailing a privilege to bring it to you we're a little bit in between sets here as with any sort of elimination heat what you also see is people go into hyper selection mode Rodinger, as he is known to do will sit on this score for as long as he deems it necessary because you know what i got the feeling that maybe he wanted to sail an extra round why not Play a little mind game with everybody sitting and waiting for him. Because guess what, people? Sometimes sitting and waiting isn't the best thing to do. Sometimes you just want to sail. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. You know, the round doesn't count. Oh, well, you lost. You get to sail again and again. Oh, well. sorts of tactics at play but Rodinger right now is just getting started let me promise you <laughs> I've seen this too many times there are heavy hitters waiting for him Kamiju Bon is a heavy hitter Robbie Swift is a heavy hitter Morgan Noirot is a super heavy hitter the list goes on and on Antoine Martin is a definite heavy hitter. And you're seeing the heavy hitters get hit back here at Cloud Break. That's definitely going to continue too. It's a little bit of an even exchange actually. If I look around me, there's broken gear. Somebody's gotten really cut up already. You know, it, let's keep it at this level. We don't want anybody getting seriously injured. Jolly Boy Vanda Mullerbrook on the outside. And you can see this at the top of the reef here. He's read this well. After not really getting a good opening ride in this, he's not going to settle for that either. At least somebody like Charlie Boy is going to resign himself. That he's going down swinging, but he's not going to go down riding some crappy little two foot wave at Cloud Break either. There is too much of a body of work for him already. If you follow him, you know. He has a standard. And he's going to find it. He's on another wave. I think this one actually will get ridden. Yes, this is up to par for Charlie Boy. Bam! Nice hit. He's got a distinctive style. And there's a one hit there. Got on the board. You never know when that actually makes the difference. Well, Rodinger, with all his patience, has found his second scoring right of the seat. Or maybe he, that's just not going to cut it for him either because there's probably one behind it. Now, Rodinger's non-pulsed here. Frederico Mauricio, you know, he's got his motor running. Let's just put it to you that way. That's been the case from the get-go here. Since 7.30 this morning, he's had his motor running. He's my roommate, along with Charlie Boy. And, you know, like, comparatively, Charlie Boy's cruising, but Mauricio, on this wave, you know, has it turned up as much as he can. He's, he's not, you know, anything but aware of what this privilege and opportunity is for him as he kind of kicks out of that wave. But the point being that, like, when you put it on paper leading up to this if you get into this event, it's an invitational. You're probably taking the invitation. 
because look what happened here. We were we were given our day to work with here. And we're really, really grateful and thankful for this. After this heat, if I'm not mistaken, we will have three more heats to run. The two semis and the final. And we're looking good to get this thing done. And that's good news for everybody in Fiji. We want a result. Bat Rodinger, upper cloud break section, fading into it, studying it. The wave bends into the bay. He smacks the lip aggressively. Second snap, pocket boy floats down the foam ball and glides back in for another cutty. Rodinger takes a page out of classical surfing lore. I will report to you that he was heartbroken when he broke his twin fin. Uh, heartbroken. Take it out on this wave, Baron. That was a phenomenal ride again. Will he get that? Yes. But shish kebab time. Brutal. He might get away with this. But I don't think he will. Because outside is a good size set. And Federico Mauricio is on it. And you can see this. It's fascinating to look on the screen as the bend. The drone's coming in to focus on him now. Federico Mauricio coming from way up top. Gets the rail in the water. Gets the second cutback. One of the best rides of his contest, in my opinion, because he's putting together aggressive turns now and in position and on a good wave. Will he back this up with an aerial? He has the potential. It's lining up for him. But Shish Kebabs, you know, kind of said, no, I'm not hungry for you. I'm hungry for Bant Rodinger, who's trying to water start in an un unenviable position here. It's just hard to deal with. Meanwhile, way outside, Charlie Boy Van der Mullerbrook finds the rogue bomb of the event so far. This thing is just up way outside of the other waves that were breaking earlier. He's going to read this just perfectly. He gets under it. He might be a little ahead of it now. But look at what happens as this thing hits the reef. It is going to wind in and turn into a dream scenario. This is like his fourth bottom turn, but he ejects the rig in the lip. And I am in shock. I thought there were going to be fireworks coming there. He might have misjudged it, unfortunately for Charlie Boy. But I'll tell you, there was a body of work there that was done, and in an odd twist of fate, he's actually swimming out for his rig. Swimming out for his rig, which is something that Matt Rodinger on the inside of Shish Kebabs would only pay lots of money to be able to do right now. But the point with Rodinger is that he's got two big scores here, and Charlie Boy had a shot there to really put a big score down. And unfortunately, he faded just a little bit too much. And I think he gave up on that cutback because he felt he was too deep all of a sudden. That wave bended in and showed exactly what I've been saying. Cloud Break is in charge here. Period. Very close between Charlie Boy and Federico. Bat in the lead with a significant margin, according to our panel. Federico Mauricio knows he's got work to do. And this is the beginning of his work here. Nice bottom turn. This is 
this is now time to really let it fly. Good aggressive riding from him. Not the biggest wave. They don't have to be. Riders like him can make small waves turn into big scores if he wants to. He's got a bag of tricks, you know, rotational maneuvers. What you are seeing in regard to rotational maneuvers and such is that the wind's pretty offshore when you get down in front of shish kebabs. It's a significant bend, the wave does. I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly how many angles, but it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And right now, we couldn't be doing any better with wind-wise, because Rodinger clears the reef and is sailing back out after a huge ordeal. Really, really don't want to have to do that. And you can see it on the screen. This inside explosions. I'll let you guys know that that's in about seven centimeters of water once this wave has bent in all the way. And Bat Rodinger, you see him in the screen there, is heading out, probably breathing a fair sigh of relief. Yeah. Is it time for a gear switch, maybe? He's down by the boat there. You can see some level of deliberation. What does that mean? It's getting windier. That's for sure. We're, we're at 18 knots now. And it is definitely looking like it might flex even further. Beautiful cloud break. Even on these inside waves, you see these lines bending in. The barythmy on this is something every surfer should study. And I'm learning a lot more about it looking at it from the drone angle, to be honest. Fascinating what this wave does. And a very, very unique setup for windsurfing. One of a kind. No comparison to anywhere else. There are places that might look like it, but Cloud Break is one of a kind. And I am so happy to be here and to have had a chance to sail it already. Sailors from the uh, next heat, which is our first semi, coming up. And this is going to be a major battle. This is when the gnarly shredders throw down what they got. Charlie Boy Van der Mullerbrook trying to redeem himself, get into an advancing position here to make a semi-final himself. It's very tight with him and Mauricio. Charlie Bottom turns, gets out of that one too. Not interested, and it's that high standard we're talking about, and that was the right decision. Because had he ridden that wave, it wouldn't have made a difference. I don't know what he could have done to make that wave a difference maker. He's got to have a higher standard and he kicks out. Mauricio's definitely got a body of work right now. Some big scores. Some pretty good riding, but he hasn't really laid it on the line. Charlie had that moment on that bomb where it was really setting up. And we'll see it on the, you know, we'll see it on the tape. We see it when it happens. That was a bomb set, and you know, it came in mid-section and showed exactly what happens when you misjudge Cloud Break. This place is the real deal. Five minutes left in this heat. We'll bring you the results as soon as we get them. But this first semi is set. 
and we will be bringing it to you. Monumental challenge for every rider in this event. Any sailor in the world would come here and have their hands full on more than a few occasions. And that's part of the challenge and part of the knowledge of being able to read a reef cast wave like this. Not exactly a reef cast, I suppose, it's just an outer reef, huh? You tell me. It's definitely a reef. I can definitely confirm that. On the outside. Charlie Boy, Van de Mollerbrook, setting up again. He's chipping into these nuggets. This one's a keeper. And he gets under the whitewater section and gives it a good level of contact there. This is your one to exchange because Mauricio's on the outside. And it's Charlie Boy and Federico, both in unison, trying to differentiate because that's what it's coming down to in this heat. You could just encapsulate their battle in this exchange alone. Charlie Boy and Federico aren't in tandem, and they've both ridden this wave really super similarly. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's just the same score for both of them, honestly. It's very, very close between the two of them. And that's not our job here in the commentary booth to give scores or whatnot. That's why we have judges. But those judges definitely need to split hairs on that exchange, and that's what it's coming down to here. The wind has picked up yet another notch. Now I'm calling 15, 18 knots, possible 20 knot gust. And it seems like it's brought the waves up a notch to a degree. We'll see. might be focusing things a little bit more onto the upper part of the reef. Bant Rodinger, after a gear exchange, is now on a blue sail, a smaller sail, no doubt. And this is gonna allow him to approach this wave a little bit more the way he wanted to, which was under the lip and projecting. And that's a beautiful hit from Rodinger, who is reading this wave perfectly and riding this wave aggressively but with a classic style right through the bowl great looking ride for Rodinger and he's out samurai slicer super well ridden wave and you can see how riding a smaller sail in this situation allowed that big set on the outside is that Mauricio on it He's entering the arena. That is Federico Mauricio, another Severn rider in this event, starting his ride. Getting through the midsection, making some lip contact here. This way it's going to start running on him. Another nice cutback as this thing bends in. Beautiful looking wave here at Cloud Break. Mauricio getting closer and in front of the judges behind him is Charlie Boy Van den Mullerbrook another exchange between the two riders fighting for an advancing spot here this is pivotal and Mauricio's definitely had a bit of the better part of this exchange wave wise he's still going it's like Charlie's wave was maybe not quite as long what can Charlie do now is there a section for him to hit he kicks out now we're getting into the nitty gritty part of the seat. Things are getting real important here. Every move counts. Federico Mauricio might well have put himself in that position he wants to be in. Putting everything on Charlie Boy's shoulders to try and take it from him. 12 seconds left. I think that is all she wrote for that. And we will find out who advanced. That's the end of the second Reaper Charge Heat. We will be back for the first semi.